Hey there everyone, welcome to IAM Labs. I am Prasun Das and today we are going to connect Firebase database to our HTML form. So what is a Firebase is? A Firebase is a Google product of Google which provides our backend as a service, which means we give our backend as a service as API or SDKs to everyone, literally to everyone from Android to game developer to web developer, everyone. So let's get started. Okay, so I will open Google and type firebase.google.com. Here will be redirect to this screen. In this screen, click get started button and you will be redirect to your project page. If you are new to Firebase, you won't be able to see any projects. Just click add, add project and enter your name and there is no credit card required. Since I have many projects open, so I'll be starting with my this project. Yeah, and the thing, just give your name and give continue continue. You'll be direct, redirect to this screen. So I'll be just copy pasting this thing. So what is this? This is actually our APK or SDK which provide us our Firebase database service and everything. So for this. I'll be using real-time database for Firebase. I'll be using real-time database. This one. So as of now, this is blank for me. It is also showing null. Pretty soon, it will be giving us something. So before starting, let's create our HTML boilerplate. Oh, sorry. Let's create our HTML boilerplate. Yeah, I've created this one with having an input button of text with ID message and a button of send. I will create a function and connect it to our button. Let's write the function right now here. I've written the function on click write user data. On clicking this send button, the data will be stored to our data Firebase database. Now I will be copy pasting the before that, I will be connecting my index.js to my HTML file and after that, I will be just simply connecting my this that API with my with my HTML file. Simple as simple as that. Nothing else we need to do. Yeah, one small thing. We just need to add this Firebase database to it just to make sure that we are using Firebase database only as a service. Now in our index.js, I'll be initializing my database, which will be writing fair database equals to Firebase.database function. So in this case, I have initialized it and I'll be writing a function which will write data to my Firebase. So what will what this is doing is I have written a user defined function, write user data, which I have already declared in my HTML file. And I have taken the value of my form, which I have given as ID as message, this one. So, and here I have written a Firebase function database means firebase.database dot reference message. So this will create a message schema for us in this database and then push dot set. So what this will do, the set function will set our data to our database and push function will provide us with unique ID for our data so that the data doesn't get overwrite. So let's just test it. I've opened this file in my local host. Yeah. And I write just hi and I'll give a send. So checking my database. Okay, one minute. So checking my database. Yeah, I've got this message hi. So this is how we connect our Firebase database to our, our HTML form. So that's all for today. 
see you in the next video thank you and don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and subscribe to im labs thank you